Hi everybody, I'm Dice for Boom. Uh, today I'm doing a rant on Resident Evil 2 fan fanboyism, and I'm doing it with your boy TT Bird Grady, also known as Tony. All right. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna be doing most of the talking. Tony, you want the first word, or uh, you want me to do the first word? You do it first, so I can get some time to think about what I want to say. Okay. Okay, right now I'm playing Sonic Colors, playing the last stages, but I'll try my best. But anyway, what's okay, Resident Evil 2. Great game, uh, but in my opinion, the worst out of the whole trilogy. The and yeah, the worst, I said it. The worst out of the whole trilogy, yep, yeah, definitely. Because it's not a real sequel, like how Resident Evil 3 is. Because Re Resident Evil 2 just like, it just like talks about, about, about Two people, two people who we don't even know about. Well, Claire, well, we kind of know about since since she since her brother was in the first game, but we don't know anything about. Uh, but, but there's like no mention, barely any mention about the other, about the original people. You go and talk now. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna pause the game so I can talk for it. I mean, the thing is, Resident Evil 2, it could have been called anything else, because it's not really a sequel. It's just a damn. It's just basically a spin-off, and they don't even do anything new with the game. What's so different about What's so different about Resident Evil One? At least with Resident Evil Three, they tried something. Okay, okay, let's go fit with, with the storyline for Resident Evil One. I mean, two. Okay. So, what do we know about the first game? What happened at the first game? Well, Jill, Barry, Chris, and Rebecca survive. But that's it. We don't know if any of them die. We don't know if Chris, they don't, or Barry, Jill, or Rebecca. They don't know. We don't know if they die or not. They don't know. Don't know what happens to him except for Chris. All we know is that Chris that he went to, he went to Europe. That's it. We don't know what happens to Jill, Barry, or Rebecca until Resident Evil Three came out. Mhm. Mm I mean, anything gonna happen? And that's the only mention we get about with Resident Evil One. Like we, oh well, the only thing that is really connected from Resident Evil Two to One is Ada. That's it. And Claire. Well, because Claire is Chris's sister. That and Ada, because uh, Ada was the password for one of the computers in, uh, in Resident Evil 1. You had to get to the lab. And... I'm sorry, but that game is not the best Resident Evil game ever made. It's the most overrated one, because people probably had high hopes had high hopes for it, because the first one was great. And yeah, let me tell you something. The first and the third one were, were the best ones, but the best one out of all, in my opinion, was 3. Because it tied up some of the loose ends from, two, for, from 1 and such. 2 did a terrible job of the story. I'm sorry, but it did. People say, oh, story, I mean, first thing is Sal like it says Resident Evil 5 is terrible, and she says Resident Evil 2 is the best. That's ironic, because 2 does a terrible job at storyline. Because it doesn't explain, like, it doesn't tell you anything about Resident Evil 1. It barely tells you anything, which I don't like, and in and, and the whole 2 scenario bullshit, it's stupid. Why can't it have, why can't it just be 2 scenarios? That's it. It says two discs. Yeah, I mean that, that, that is a pain in the neck trying to change the discs and stuff for different characters. It could just be just like, why can't they do with what the first one did? Just have both the characters on one disc instead of do this stupid um. We need let's make it two discs and stuff to make it more ch to make it make it more gameplay, more replayable. Well, here's the thing. I mean, Resident Evil 2, you, you're doing the same thing with every character. There's nothing different, barely any different. Yeah, except I, mean, I know Resident Evil 1 did the same thing, but there's one difference. It was two scenarios. It wasn't four scenarios. Yeah. So it didn't get repetitive that bad, and there was multiple endings, so it it made up for it, which Resident Evil 2 lacks. I know. In fact, even Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 had two endings, and yet it, they only had, had one ending for each character. I mean, kind of a rip-off, yeah. I mean, no, not kind of a rip-off, kind of, kind of a disappointment, if you ask me. No, I mean, Resident Evil 1 had seven endings, two had four, but really two is gone, like one for characters, and three had two endings, and there's no good ending, there's no bad ending with the rest of the two, which kind of sucks, to be honest. I know, it's just, it's just a good ending no matter what happens. And the thing I don't, and the thing I don't like about Resident Evil 2, they don't really do anything different with the gameplay. And you know what's the funny part? Resident Evil 1.5? You know that had barely anything to do with Resident Evil uh, 1? At least it had the same spirit with Resident Evil 1 in horror. Which, I'm sorry, Resident Evil 2 lacked horror. It wasn't a horror game. 
Resident Evil 1 was more scary than that. And I can prove it, too. Yeah, I can prove it, too. Especially, like, like the part where, where the zombie's biting off Kenneth's head. Or the part, or the music was even scarier, too. The Resident Evil 1 had better music, and it's scarier music, too. I mean, my friend, <clears throat> Mitchell, he's never, he never played a Resident Evil game in his life. And I, and I made him play Resident Evil 1. He got scared a couple of times. But now in Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 2, you don't get scared at all. You're just like, wow, okay, interesting, cool, yeah. Resident Evil 2 just gets old fast. And and, and here's the thing. They had to release so many damn versions of the game, and, like, for extra content when, when they couldn't do one game. Resident Evil 3 didn't have so many versions. All the versions were basically identical. Like, what do you mean? Are you, are you talking about, like, like different console versions and stuff? Yeah, like, example, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, let's see. Resident Evil 2, uh, Director's Cut. Oh, Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast on the PC, they had different modes, too. Like, there's not one, like, why can't you use one port that has everything all together? But on Resident Evil 3, the only difference is which is not that bad. Like, for Dreamcast and PC, you get all the costumes at, at start. That's it. It's not, it doesn't have like, any exclusive stuff. So, basically, Capcom, Capcom and Resident Evil 2, they just wanted to screw people over. Yeah, but at least they fixed it with Resident Evil 3, where they actually made the game more playable than the second one. The second one, you just thought, you you felt like 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 you were just playing a totally different, well, even though it's, it, is a, it is a different game than Resident Evil 1, but it was still just kind of a waste because it had, people had high expectations of this and people loved it, but yet, but yet, but, but, but the true fans saw how bad it was. You know, you know what's you know what's terrible too. Resident Evil 1.5 looks like a better game to be honest, because it was in like I say, it was in the same spirit of Resident Evil 2. I mean, one, it had multiple endings like this first game. It looked after was scary, and then one more thing, you know what? It, that Resident Evil 2 did not have, and thank God Resident Evil 3 had this. This is why I like Resident Evil 3. It had challenge. Yeah. It had a challenge. Resident Evil 1 had challenge too. Resident Evil 3. I had a lot of challenge. That was, was probably one of the toughest video game enemies known to known to man video game kind. Definitely. Like, what yeah. like, what's so hard about that game? The final boss on, on B scenario? He's just a blob. He's just a blob. A wolf Bur- wolf wolf birkin or whatever they call him. Like all he does is he has chemicals, that's it. There's like no way to to him, he's not that hard. Yeah, especially when, when he had the rocket launcher. Yeah. I mean, Tyrant, he's not that hard either. Resident Evil 1 is more hard than this shit. I mean, I mean, it was so goddamn easy. Yeah. It's too easy, fed them. And I thought, and I thought, I thought I, I thought I was just good at the game, but I, but I, but I wasn't. But I wasn't. It was just. I mean, I thought, I thought it was just really good at the game, but it's, but I, it was, it's just a, just way too easy. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I don't hate Resident Evil 2. I just think it's not the best game in the whole series. I'm sorry, but it's not. Honestly, I think Resident Evil 4, to be honest, is way better. Yeah, I said it. I've said it. Go ahead, shoot me. I said it. I think Resident Evil 4 is better than 2, because the game plays better. And I play games for gameplay, and you know, even though I had issues with Resident Evil 2 with the storyline, it's not just because of the storyline. It's because of the gameplay, because it's just, it's just so easy. Yeah. So why, why else do you think they added a hard mode and a nightmare mode in their, in their later editions? Because it's too easy for other people. Capcom knew they even screwed up. And by the way, if you play uh, Resident Evil 2 on rookie mode, then, then don't even play video games. That, even play a video game. Yeah, but um, I used to, to play that game when I when I was bad at the game. But what here's the thing. When I got good at the game, I started to started to stop using Rookie Mode. In fact, I had the greatest hits version, but it stopped working so I bought the original version. I like that better because there is no no stupid rookie mode. Rookie mode is just, just it's just like a mode for like irate gamer and stuff like that. You know what you get? You get including an machine uh some machine gun ammo. You know, so if, you no, infinite submachine gun, infinite rocket launcher, infinite gatling gun, and you get four first aid sprays in the in the item box. Wow. It's saying like, oh, 
you know, you know, you should take a break. Don't don't go through that hard work. Just you know, here's everything. It just basically say, give me everything. I mean, I mean nightmare, nightmare mode. Even though it's a challenge, it's 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 not. It's just basically a Resident Evil ring. That's how difficult it is. Mm-hmm. Resident Evil Two was sick. It doesn't even feel like a sequel. Resident Evil, you, you know what? You know what the funny thing is? Resident Evil Three takes place before Resident Evil Two. That's, that's the funny. Thing. Yeah, that feels more like a sequel. And people say, "Oh, you know what's well, a sequel?" I mean, that came out. That came out like later. Yeah, but here's the thing. That came out a year later. They had two years of Resident Evil Two. I and and don't say, "Well, what about Resident Evil One Point Five? Yeah, but here's the thing. They corporate idea from 1.5 to 2. They had two years to make a game. So they still, you know, they made a 1.5 and when they move over to 2, they still have a corporate idea from 1.5 to 2. Don't give me that excuse, because it doesn't work. Nope, don't work at all. Resident Evil 3, they had a year, and it, and it made it better because they went back to its roots. Yeah, man, and they, and they brought back Jill and Barry. Yeah, you know Barry had a cameo. And Brad. <laughs> oh, poor Brad. He got kind of raped. Well, at least we know one thing. He didn't die of losing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, what? Whoa. What do you mean? What do you mean, like, wait, wait, did uh, Brad have a crush on Jill or something? No, no, he got raped in the mouth by oh. Nemesis. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that, yeah. You just kind of confused I mean, me. Resident Evil 2, it's just not that easy then. Now, now I've talked about my problems with the game. Now I'm going to talk about the fanboy, the whole damn series. I, people like to say there's no deal to have decent amount of fans. I don't want to agree with that, but however, people like Shadow Leggy, fanboys. They just they'll just judge the game just because it's not Resident Evil 2. That's it. Like example, Shadow Leggy disc. Uh, Resident Evil 4 because of how they made Leon. Really? That's gonna be a big argument. Not because of the gameplay. And I'm, if you have Resident Evil 2, I don't have a problem with that, okay? It's, it's all cool. But if you diss my, if you say that just because I think Resident Evil 3 is better than Resident Evil 2, and I'm not a real Resident Evil fan, because I think Resident Evil 3 is better, and I don't think it's better, then, then you are a fan, but I really, I don't consider you a fan at all. I just consider you a freaking, you know, like what version? And another thing is, like, it's just basically a Final Fantasy VII of of Resident Evil because it's everyone's first game. That's basically it. You know what my first game was? Resident Evil Survivor. And I know a lot of people that game bad, but I like the game. It's better than two. It is. It is better than two. Definitely. I said that too. Resident Evil Survivor is better than two. Yep. How we're doing? The worst game in the series? No, Code Veronica is. Yeah, said Code Veronica is the worst. Well, actually, no. I liked I, I liked Code Veronica. I liked like like I mentioned before. I did not. Like Code Veronica. Oh, I know, I know. I, mean, I already made a big ass man about that. Twenty or I believe that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna upload. Don't worry, but bet yeah, but but bet was saying um, yeah, but now let's talk about the fanboys. Of Resident Evil 2. And my god, these fanboys unrelentlessly stupid. They're just as stupid as the Irie Gamer fanboys and and the Fred fanboys and such. Yeah. They're, they go out of the way to praise Resident Evil 2 to no end, saying it's the best Resident Evil game ever made. People are saying, oh my god, it's the best Resident Evil game because it's it's got good, it's got, uh, because um, it just is and stuff. I mean, I don't know why else they would do praise it, but it's stupid. Do you know actually uh, Leon was supposed to be Code Veronica? He was supposed to take Steve's place. No, I didn't know that. And uh, apparently, they, apparently, uh, apparently fans bitched about that. Apparently, uh, and I kind of find it odd because people freaking love Resident Evil 2 to God, like freaking death. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, and people say Resident Evil 2 is the best, and but it's say the, why it's, it's the best. Say why it's the best. Yeah. Okay, let's look at Resident Evil. Like, you know how I said Resident Evil 2 has no like development and gameplay? Let's look at Resident Evil 3. Just to make sure why I think Resident Evil 3 is better. Not only in game, not only in 
story of the gameplay. Why did Resident Evil 3 have? Had a 180 turn, coming at the whole game series, game, the whole the whole series series ever since then. Uh, it still it has it had a lot of replay uh, ability, and it had it had four billion versions just to get like a lot of content in. Because the original Resident Evil 2 had uh, four survivor and uh, the tofu mode. That's it. That's not a lot. No, it's not. Unlike Resident Evil 3, it has more replayability. Has the uh uh. Uh, finale ending for characters explains what happened to them. Not something that Resident Evil 2 did not do, by the way. And, um, kind of merchant mode, or mercenaries mode, and you get money to get stuff with it, so it's not just because of rank. It not only depends on your rank, you also have to work up to your uh, stuff. And, um, and, and also, there's another thing I like, which is a shame that they never ever use this feature every time. Basically, it's live action now, uh, this decision. Basically, you have to make a decision. Like, you have a couple seconds to make a decision. So, either, if you want to, like, example, like the first one, yeah, either, yeah, either fight Nemesis or go into RPD. Yeah. Like, that stuff, uh, it's a shame that they never use it since again, because it was a great feature. Mm hmm. And. Really, you know, like Resident Evil 2 had nothing in terms of its gameplay. It's just Resident Evil 1 with nothing new. With a terrible, with oh. terrible characters I don't care about. With fairly terrible character development. Resident Evil 2 had terrible character development. Like, really, Ada had had the worst of all the characters. Ada had the worst character development out of all the characters. She had no character. She had no personality in her. No emotion. And just because it's a spy doesn't mean she has personality. Oh, she's a spy. She can't have no personality. It's just bullshit. I'm sorry. And and that had more character development, to be honest. Yeah, even even Sherry had more character development. Because at least you got you understand uh, you can understand what's wrong with and then you can understand why she's pissed off and why she's why she's like want to shoot everybody and stuff. So she, it makes sense. Because, because she, she, she's trying to get revenge for her husband. For her work, make sure no one takes her, her husband's work and be protected over her daughter. But she doesn't really do a good job at She's kind of a bad mother because she works all the time and such. She's better than Scott Sully's mother. No, I'm joking. Maybe. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, really, in the voice acting, I know Resident Evil. One had the worst action. I mean, Resident Evil 2 was not a big upgrade at all. I'm sorry. With the exception of Claire and maybe, I guess, Ada. Voice action was. Leon wasn't too bad. But. But. But yeah, so many goddamn corny lines. Like, every time it's like, Ada. Ada! Stop! Just says it's so corny, man. I thought I was playing a horror game, not a, not a shitty B horror movie. Mm hmm. I mean, I mean, I just explained my reasons. I don't think it's a great, I don't. Well, it's a great game, but it's not a great Resident Evil game. It's not. No, it's not even close to the best Resident Evil game. Best Resident Evil game is three, and yeah, th one and three are probably the best ones because they feel like, because they actually feel like, because the first one is started all, and the third one feels more like a sequel. Hey, by the way, I just want to say something. Screw Attack said Resident Evil Two had was the best because it had puzzles, solving. Had the best because it was a combined puzzles and action. Here's the thing, I gotta say. Resident Evil, are you saying that Resident Evil 3 focused too much on action and the puzzles were hard? I mean, were easy? Were you telling me the water puzzle you did that snap? Easily? You're telling me you did the puzzle of Carlos and you have to that was, that was one of the hardest puzzles ever in Resident Evil, the, the water puzzle. Yet, if you don't have the guidebook for that, you're screwed. That's okay. Yeah, I know. So how can it be, uh, like you said, there's not that many puzzles in the game. Dude, it, there's barely any puzzles in Resident Evil 2. And you know what? You're doing the same thing over and over again in Resident Evil 2. You do it I think, four times. You do it four times. You do the exact same thing four times. Or, I guess two times for scenario. I know, I know, I agree. So basically, Resident Evil 3 should be the best one, not 1 or 3 should be the best for the game, not 2. I mean, I mean, you know I love 3, sometimes I like saying something, maybe 1 is the best, because it's multiple endings, I like that, I like how there's multiple endings, how 
You can play the game, beat the game, and you can either survive by yourself. Something I like. Definitely, definitely. Hopefully, and, they might do, and hopefully they do the same thing with the reboot. Yeah, I know. Which anyway, I know. What? Any final words? Oh, sorry. Go no, on. you went fish. I thought you were, thought you were done talking. I was going to say any final words. Yeah, I know. In fact, really, I don't even have much to say about that because pretty much, which we pretty much summed out again that Resident Evil 2 is not the best Resident Evil game, and their fanboys are, are freaking retarded who will go out of nowhere where to praise the game to, to, to uh, uh, like it's the best thing since sliced bread. The oh, by the way, before, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, before anyone even has a bitch fit, when we're talking about retarded fans, we're not talking about the fans. We're not calling you retarded because of your opinion. We're calling you retarded because people want to say Resident Evil 2 is the best, and if you don't agree with you, then you are not a fan of the series. I uh, yeah, I mean like yeah, right. That's what we're talking about. If so, you if you don't think I mean like there's, we're the, if you're not a fan of the first Resident Evil game. I don't know, know if you'd be a fan or not. I mean, because, like, it's true. Because, like, the first Resident Evil game, yeah, it had bad voice acting and stuff. And, and had the item box. And, of course, it had the, had the problem that, that, that quite a few Resident Evil games, like, still don't have an item box. But still, it made Resident Evil Resident Evil. It made it what it was. In fact, um, I got both Resident Evil and Resident Evil Director's Cut on my on my on the PS One, and they're both fun to play. Well, I rather play. I usually play the original one more because the original is the original and such. But still, it's worth playing. It's worth it playing. And 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 if, and if people say that that game is worse than Resident Evil Two, honestly, what's wrong with you? Please, and 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 if you say say three is worse than than two, honestly, what's wrong with you? Because you don't really know what Resident Evil is, and if you don't if you don't like those either those games or. I I have a challenge. Yeah, I have a challenge. I have a challenge. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. Um, try to explain that we're wrong. Like, why we shouldn't think like this? Like, please, I would like to know. I mean, Resident. I mean, I try to remember. I mean, Resident Evil 2, like I said, is my two main problem. My three main problems with the game is no challenge. It's a clone of Resident Evil 1, and there's n and there's nothing and it's nothing to do with Resident Evil 1 at all. Yeah, I know. For a sequel, I thought it had something to do with the, the first game, not just a mention. Yeah, like have mentioned, like show where Chris and Jill are at now. Show what happened with Barry and Rebecca. Yeah, that would be cool to see Rebecca again, but no, we we don't even know what happens to Rebecca. She just like since like vanished. She just like vanished after Res. Yeah, it's funny. The only game she's in is either remakes or prequels. That's just funny. Yeah, I know. She's basically getting screwed. I know. So anyway, before any final word. I, other other than. Do check out other games besides Res other Resident Evil games besides Resident Evil 2 because they are better than the, than than that game. Check them out because they are worth playing more than Resident Evil 2 because Resident Evil 2 is just pretty much boring and not challenging at all, and it can literally put you to sleep. Yeah, repetitive as hell too. Yep. I mean, unlike I mean Resident Evil 1. I mean, yeah, to be honest, there's sometimes where I need a fourth one to play, but with Resident Evil 2. I have to force myself to play because it's just so boring. I know. Original, it's not boring because it's 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 scary. You know what I mean? When I'm saying it's scary, it's intense. It's really intense. You never know where Nemesis is going to show up. Yeah. It's hot from anywhere. Yeah, in fact, um, and it doesn't have rookie mode that holds your hand throughout the whole game. Uh, well, except for easy mode, but... But easy mode, but, yeah, but easy mode is most more challenging because it's hard to beat it on... Well, I can't even... I haven't been able to beat it on hard mode yet, but... I easy, just can't it. You have been... You have beaten it on hard mode? Yeah. I haven't beaten it on hard mode yet, but I'm still trying to get... I still... I'm just, I'm just trying to get used to it a little more than play on hard, but the thing is that yeah. it's not super easy as as rookie mode was in Resident Evil 2. It doesn't have infinite ammo, and it doesn't have... And it has limited ammo and stuff, and it's still... You can die pretty much the same amount, so pretty much... It's the same game. It's it's pretty much the same mode, just with more weapons and such. And I like that better because it's more of a challenge. Yeah, like like here's the thing. Unlike any other enemy in the whole games, like if okay, let's say you you see your nemesis, okay? You go through the door, you and you're still in the same room, but you're like in on the other screen where you're not near the door. Nemesis will come out of nowhere, and if you think that's bad enough, sometimes he will have a rocket launcher. I know. Yeah, that was cool right there. Yeah, that 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 is cool. 
If that's not a challenge, I don't know what challenge is. I don't. I just don't. Yeah. So, and can anything else to say about Resident Evil 2? Yeah, it's not. It's not the holy grail of Resident Evil game. It's not. Nope. It's. It, I'm sorry. It's not. I mean, cause it's just. Let's be honest, guys. I mean, I know a lot of stuff is opinion. Well, this is. Let's, even we can admit this is a fact. Resident Evil 2 is basically a clone of Resident Evil 1, in gameplay. Cause there's nothing different. Nope. There's just it's might as well be DLC. Cause it's just it's a expensive DLC. That's basically what it is. There's nothing new in gameplay, besides new weapons. But nowadays, you know what that's called? That's called DLC now. Yep. True. Oh, new weapons, new enemies. Yeah, totally worth the fifty nine dollars. Yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Same here, I got enough to say. Other than, play, uh, check out the other Resident Evil games besides just two, because it's not the best yes, one. Yes, please don't. And to be honest, if you're starting with Resident Evil, I would start with Resident Evil 1. Yeah, and and then 3. Uh, then 3, because it feels more like more like, more like a sequel than 2. And that's pretty yeah. much all I'm saying. This is Tony and Brandon. Tell you to peace out, and good night.